Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over here on lag.com and this is a game that I have a little bit of history with. This is Letty Bob 2. It's the sequel of the first Letty Bob game and for those of you who've been watching me for a while, you know how much I struggled with the first game because Letty Bob number one was full of so much logic bending, reality twisting, weirdo puzzles that are so unorthodox and so off the beaten path that I really, really struggled with that game. I had to like pause for a moment and be like, what is happening? Because I can't figure these puzzles out. It's a point and click puzzle style game. It's very simplistic. There's this really nice music in the background and very, very cute cartoon aesthetics going on, but it's to put you off for the crazy challenge that these games are. So let's go ahead. Let's embarrass myself yet again, this time with Lady Bob 2. Oh boy. Revenge is going to be mine though. I'm going to beat this one. Okay, so we have our sad light bulb. He's got a little band-aid on his head. Oh, that's sad. Who hurt him? Someone must have cracked his head or something. There's two light switches, so that's a little bit weird. Hello? No? Okay. Can't hold him down or anything. Can't drag him away. Uh, I'm guessing... Okay, we get, we get to use the band-aid. I bet we use this to hold down a light switch. Yeah, and then you hit both and he lights up all big and bright. He's really happy there. And then we'll, lay, uh, we'll wait for the next level to load in here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, awesome. But yeah, this game. There you go. Already introduced to the twist of what this game is like. Okay, so we have a panel. Uh, we have a bar. We have two buttons. And we have a switch. And then this little uh, thing normally has to turn uh, on. And then that means there's power going to the light source. And then we can hit the switch. At least that's the way it worked in the first game. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like the switch does anything. What do these buttons do? Okay, that light turned on. That turns it on and off, and then... Oh, okay. So, I see. Alright, so this turns this on and off. And as long as this is on, we can... We can power up this bar, which powers on the lightning bolt. The little electricity symbol. And we hit the switch. We got a happy bulb. Awesome. Okay, not too hard so far, but definitely already making me a little bit worried about how challenging this game is going to get. Okay, we got one, three, and five. We got two, four, and six. There's circles and there's... Okay, so these are the universal signs. Like if you look at like any switch on like a computer or anything like that, you'll see there's like one side that has a circle on the switch and one side that's a line on the switch. Normally the line means on, so I'm guessing this means switches two, four, and six. Yep. Turn our little light bulb friend on. Got it. Okay, cool. Very, very cool. All right. And then this one, there's three switches. He's sad again. I don't like when he's sad. Oh, okay. It's one of these puzzles. I see. I see. Okay, boom. We did it. We did it. All right, moving on to the next one. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got 9669. These sixes look like the upside down nines. I wonder if that's going to come into play later. We have a happy hourglass picture over to the right there. Hmm. What does it? What do, what do we do with this happy hourglass boy? Is it? Okay, so it, it indicates time, I'm guessing. Are these like faces of the clock? Each of these dials? Maybe you have to put nine, six, six, nine. Ah, oh, yeah, it worked. Okay, very cool. This is how it always gets you, though. This is how it puts you off guard, is these games will go, okay, here's like the first version of this puzzle that we're going to show you. See how easy it is? You have nothing to worry about. And then all of a sudden, it blasts you off in outer space with variations that are even harder. So I'm I'm not ready. <laughs> all right, we got down arrow, four, and then five hash marks. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> don't know what that means okay so i hit it four times it didn't do anything can i hold it okay i can hold this one down i was waiting for a puzzle like this what if we just hold it down for four seconds or five seconds okay that worked awesome okay some of these are pure instinct if you have uh someone's into if you have the intuition of someone who has played a lot of puzzle games and a lot of point and click games like i have i've played a ton here on lagged i grew up playing point and click puzzle games it's sort of in my blood they're one of my favorite genres uh i love like testing the limits of my mind then you can figure out some of these just by sort of sorting through them but <laughs> that one was that one was one that I was waiting for. I was ready for one of those switches to have to be held. Okay, so we have this one again. We have the same setup as before, but I bet there's a twist. 
All right, so that turns that on and off again. So we go like that. Okay. Okay, so we have to just keep turning it on because when we hit the button that adds power to the meter, it turns the but or the light off on the left there. So we always have to turn it back on. Okay, that's an easy one. This is an easy one. This one was was very easy. I'm okay with it being easy though. Okay, what that? What in the world is this one? This one's real weird, guys. Okay, so we got a bunch of crazy looking symbols here. Very symmetrical looking symbols here. Uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So whatever, if there's like, if this is a code, once we figure out the code, we'll have the order of like this symbol goes first, second, third, and so forth. And then, but then over here on the right, we have a piece of paper that has a check mark and an X on it. There's a check mark on the left, there's a dividing line, and then there's an X on the right. So I don't know what the heck that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means at all. Um, does it have to do with how the switches are laid out? Like don't hit the ones on the right side, hit the ones on the left side maybe? What happens if I do that? Nothing, oh God, you have to, okay, so you actually have to use all of them or it doesn't reset the switches. Okay, so that that's out. That theory is completely out. Uh, I wonder if it has to deal with the symbols itself. If you cut the symbols right down the middle, you got one, two, and then three, four, but I still don't know what the heck the symbols are. Although, oh, wait, wait, okay, all right. Okay, all right, this is, this is a stretch, but looking at it and thinking about this theory, I might have just accidentally figured it out by, by going, oh yeah, there's the line dividing it straight down the middle and then talking about how symmetrical the symbols were in the beginning. I think that these are mirrored letters, maybe? This one, this is the only one I'm a little bit unsure about, the, the up arrow, because if that's a one, that's a really funky one. So is this the first one I would hit would be switch three because this would be a three mirrored to make this symbol. This would be a one mirrored to make the up arrow. This would be a six mirrored against itself to make this weird box. This would be a five. This would be a four, two, this is a two. Okay, I think I figured it out. Guys, I think I figured it out. Okay, I gotta put this theory into motion. So the first one we hit is switch three. The second one we hit is switch one. The third one we hit is six, uh, uh, switch six. The fourth one we hit is switch five. The fifth is four, and then two is the last one, and we got a happy lighty bulb, dude. Awesome, okay. I'm, I cannot believe I figured that out. That only took me like, what, three tries? That was it? And then I figured it out. I was sitting there, I was just like theorizing. This is what these types of games are though. See, I was prepared. I went through the fires of number one, and I had to bend my brain around some of those puzzles. My brain has been tested and forged in those fires I mentioned before. It's all led up to this moment. Okay. Is this another? Okay. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was completely by chance. Completely by chance. So it was the far left one and then the second to the right one. Okay. This time we got the same thing going again. So we got the flipped hourglass this time. This time the hourglass is upside down. So does that mean that this paper on the left with 9669 is also flipped? So would that make it 6996? Yeah, it would. Okay, look at me going. Pretty easy. Okay, we got a whole bunch of letters here. Okay, B-G-H-I-L-T-U-Y. What the heck does that spell? Okay, so they don't go away when you click them or anything. There's no indication that I'm doing it in the right order. I don't know if I'm supposed to spell a word. I guess, uh, oh wait, huh. Light bulb. No? Huh. Did I do that wrong? Oh, what if it's Lighty Bulb, like the name of the game? See, I love it when there's like anagrams like this and letters are all jumbled up and you have to undo them to figure it out. Normally you only get to use them once, but I think in this case we get to go Lighty Bulb. Yeah, okay. Nice, we're flying through these. Okay, I'm doing a lot better than I thought I was going to do, honestly. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. Okay, we, oh, oh. okay, this one's a little bit different. What happened, oh, oh, that doesn't turn it off now? So what if I hit it a bunch and then I have like stored up power? Yeah, okay. Nice, all right, that was completely by accident, that one. <laughs> I won't lie, that, like I didn't figure that one out until I had accidentally partially figured it out, basically. Okay, so this time we have 
Uh, one photo of a, it looks like a building with certain windows on. Oh, this one's easy. And then on the other one, we got a picture of an elevator that says we're on the ground floor with an up arrow indicating the elevator's going up. So I'm guessing we start at the bottom floor here, which is switch six, go to switch one, go to switch three, go to switch four, go to switch two, go to switch. Uh, oh, wait, no, I did that wrong. Okay, so it's six, one, three. I forgot how to count, apparently. Five, and then two, four. There we go. Okay, that one was easy. As soon as I saw the picture, I was like, oh, I know exactly what to do here. Okay, so this one. Okay, another one of these, except there's, okay, just a billion of them. If you just click by chance, sometimes you get it, guys. That's all I got to say. Some of those aren't really so much, like you can figure them out with logic, but you know, <laughs> I'd rather whip through it as quickly as I can. Okay, so this one, what the heck is this one? It's like uh, phases, uh, well, that's not phases of the moon, no. That's fractions of a circle? What the heck? We still have 9669. Fractions of a circle. What the heck does this mean? Because these only move in four. This moves to the right, straight down, straight to the left, and straight up. So it's not like we can, can we pull these? If I try to drag them, can I? No, I can't drag them to the angles that they would like sort of be at, I guess. And that, okay, so if this is uh, if this is the face of a clock, this would be four o'clock. And then I don't know what it would, all dark would mean. What the heck? What the heck? I, okay, um, what the heck? Okay, I think, wait, are, are these supposed to be mathematical fractions that correspond to this paper? This is a long shot, but this is two thirds. Two thirds of nine would be six. And this is zero thirds, so it would just stay six? Maybe? And then this is one half of six would be three this seems this seems wrong uh and then one third of nine would also be three so it'd be six six three three nah that doesn't work what if it's the opposite way what if the dark part is what matters i guess so that would mean that this is one third of nine would be three and then six would probably still say stay the same half of six is three also and then uh, one, two thirds, okay, would be six. So that would be three, six, three, six. That doesn't, that, oh my, okay, I, I will not lie. I, I was not prepared for that to work. I was just trying to do wacky math in my head. I was trying to figure out if maybe that actually, I mean, there was four little fractions. I assume that they dealt with the four switches the four numbers on the other paper i had no idea that that was going to work that was that i cannot take credit for that one that was just farting around and and it, somehow i figured that one out but i'm so happy it worked okay we have a picture of a lamp is that indicating the light bulb is like the genie of the lamp if i rub you okay yeah okay it worked <laughs> i was trying to make a joke and it worked that's amazing okay all right got another one of these oh switch goes off right away what happens if i just mega click it what if i hold it down yeah? Nothing? Nothing's lighting up. Okay. Oh, no, not okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, all right, nice. I was about to start trying to hit just the right button there to see if maybe that's what would charge it up and they just done a little switcheroo on me. But you gotta try every possibility. That's what makes these games so fun. That's what makes these games so freaking fun. I like this so much. This is so hard, but I like it a lot. Okay, so we got pictures of roman numerals and then we got like a map on the right side and the map indicates a path through so that would mean wait there's one two three four because these are four i's in a row is not a real roman numeral it just become iv which is what four is in roman numerals so you have to know a little bit about roman numerals to do this one i guess but there's three rooms there's one two three four five six digits so i'm guessing the three rooms would be dividing the six digits into two sets of two each so if we start at six so it'd be six two this is four okay and then we move up one and then it oh it's like disproportionate so now this is just one and then three and then five, okay, nice. Look at that logic going. That one, that one I'll take credit for. That one I felt smart about. Okay, there's another one of these crazy ones with a thousand switches. Can we do it? Can we do it? He can do it. You just click the ones that aren't aren't down and then you, you get it right. 
Okay, so this one, oh, this one's so easy. I got this one figured out already. Okay, so we got 9669 again, and then we got a big hand, little hand, little hand, big hand. So when you think about clocks, you think about the big hand and the little hand. Where are they going to be positioned? If the first big hand is going to be positioned at nine, it's there. The second one's a little hand that's positioned at six. Wait, yeah, six. Did I do this right? I Okay, I might have talked a big game and, and messed up. Oh, wait, no, little hands at six o'clock. Okay, so nine o'clock, the big hand is at nine. Uh, so the little hand is at six o'clock. Little hand... Wait, no, little hand would be down. I'm stupid. Okay, these... <laughs> big hand... I, I got the logic mixed up in my head, but I know what I'm talking about. I promise you. I sound like a rambling idiot, but even though I am one, I know what I'm talking about. So <laughs> the nine, nine o'clock corresponds to the first big hand on the left. So at nine o'clock, the big hand would be pointed straight up while the little hand would be to the left to indicate nine o'clock. So the big hand has to be straight up here on this one. The little hand, little hand at six o'clock is going to be pointing to the six. And then the last one is another big hand, so it goes back to 12. I got it! That was the last puzzle! Oh my god, I can't believe that I got them all. I cannot believe that I got them all. I have no idea how I managed to do that for some of those. Some of those, as you saw, were complete guesses. They were completely out of left field, but I managed. You're still the light of my life. See you soon in round three. Oh god, I don't know if my brain's ready for it. I need like several months to prep for round three because my brain is drained from this game. This was fun, though. This was really freaking fun. I liked it a lot. Uh, I, I had a blast doing these even though I did some of them completely by chance but uh, if you guys want to try this one out yourselves hopefully you have a blast with it again it's got this nice soothing music in the background it's got this really cute cartoon aesthetic and it's really very very rewarding when you complete one of those challenges when you actually figure out what the pattern is that you're supposed to be doing and you go oh my god it all clicks it makes sense I'm the smartest person alive you know that's that's a good feeling but anyway guys that's going to be it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please Please, please, please check this game out over here on lag.com. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye.